There's a unique group of about 50 people making their way to the Catholic Church here at St. Michael's in Flushing. These 50 were all members of the Episcopalian Church and then came here to St. Michael's to learn about Catholicism, all under the leadership of Antonio Contreras. He was somebody uh, un unbelievable, you know, person. And we really, we're going to miss him a lot. Antonio Contreras was a charismatic leader and priest of the Episcopal Church. Episcopalians are part of what is called the Anglican Communion, a Protestant church that split from Catholicism in the 16th century. After ministering to the Episcopalians for nearly a decade, Antonio felt called to join the Catholic Church, so he renounced his Anglican priesthood and began attending Mass at St. Michael's. About 50 parishioners of the Episcopalian Church followed. When I was a little, you know, I'm a growing a Catholic church. Then for some, some, you know, some instance, you know, we pushed more, more into the other church. And then when he met him in that church, he was different, you know. He pretty much guided me here, and I came here, knowing this is the right thing to do. Antonio officially joined the Catholic Church just a few months ago and was teaching his flock so that they could also join. Then, about two weeks ago, he suddenly passed away. Now this flock is like sheep without a shepherd. To console them, a very special leader traveled all the way from Texas, Monsignor Jeffrey Steenson. He is in charge of all people in the country who are coming to Catholicism from Anglicanism. The man in charge of evangelization in the Brooklyn and Queens diocese, Father James Massa, explains that Monsignor Steenson is not limited to a single geographic location. Pope Benedict appointed him to serve nationwide and integrate Anglicans into Catholicism. It really is an opportunity for Christians of that Anglican tradition to make their home within the Catholic Church while retaining their Anglican identity and Anglican customs. Despite similarities, Anglicans have beliefs that differ from core teachings of the Catholic Church. These include the Catholic belief that Jesus is really present in the consecrated Eucharist. According to the pastor of St. Michael, who worked extensively with Antonio, this was the main reason that Antonio decided to become Catholic. It was the Eucharist that he felt that the real presence of what traditional Catholic belief was something that his community did not share the way we as Catholics profess our faith in the presence of the body and blood of Jesus being present in the Eucharist. One priest of Brooklyn there to console the community, Father Belan Gonzalez E. Perez, also came back to Catholicism after a long journey. He was baptized Catholic but left and eventually became an Episcopal priest. Now he has returned and was reordained a Catholic priest just two years ago. He says his story is long but can be summed up simply. I had a longing in my heart to return home. Yeah. It makes me emotional. And I'm home. Thank God. The church leaders hope that this group continues their faith journey to be received fully into Catholicism sometime next year. The funeral for their charismatic leader, Antonio Contreras, will be held here at St. Michael's in Flushing on Wednesday, with Bishop Raymond Geppetto presiding. Reporting for Currents from Flushing, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.